Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am bringing you guys a Waxidents haul. Um, one of my friends on Instagram told me that Waxidents uses the um, November Rain oil, which I was able to get a loaf of from Hayden Rowe and a souffle. But I love it so much that I can see myself going through that really, really fast. Um, and not many other vendors carry that oil. I did learn yesterday that um, that Smell Good Shop has that oil. Though I've ordered quite a bit from that Smell Good Shop and I've never seen it before. So um, I thought too that I would just try Waxidents. I think I've had one small order from Waxidents before. Um, Yes, I have, because I remember the dino theme. Anyway, I literally haven't even, I just opened the box. I haven't dug in at all, but I love like the dinosaur themed stuff she uses. I love like, <laughs> I, I could be getting this wrong, but I love the vibe of like the website and everything. It's just so human. Like it's not high end feeling. It's not anything. It's like, I love wax. I love scent. Here's these oils. I've made like house blends. Like she's put a lot of work into stuff, but at the same time, she's like, but we make waxidents. We make accidents and they pour and sell some of those accidental scents and shapes. And it's just, it's kind of interesting. If you go take a look, it's really, really cool. I don't know. Um, and I just love the, like, it's definitely unique. Um, there's not like, it doesn't feel or look like any other vendor. So anyway, let me, I just opened it here. Oh good, she did send me an invoice and it says, Danielle, thank you so much for your order. I hope it's roar-tastic. Enjoy Amanda. So Amanda um, Netakoven is the one um, and she is in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Um, so I ordered a T-Rex loaf, with it, which is about nine ounces. She sells that for $1.25. And then uh, Fossil Mini Loaves, they're approximately four ounces and those are five dollars and then bunt cakes approximately three ounces and those are each 375 and the way what you do is you go down the shape and sizes of things that you want and then in the comments in the end you put what scents like which oils you want and she has lots of single oils and she has house blends that you can choose so like i said my well let me do is this a sample yeah, so see what I mean is like this one says like this is free with purchase, but this says waste no wax asaurus. And so he's kind of like a bunch of wax put together that they didn't waste. It's kind of cool. So I don't, this doesn't even have a scent per se. It's literally just a bunch of like wax poured together, which, you know, some people might find like not want, but I just think it's a cool idea, which I'm smelling like Christmas tree and vanilla and stuff like that, which I'm sure she's pouring a lot of those kind of scents right now. So I just think it's cool, like what her company is based on. Okay, so the fossil mini loaves that I told you about. Okay, I think I'm gonna find, wait, I, I've heard she does a lot of samples. So I'm gonna find a few more samples in here. So I'm sorry, this is all over the place. Sorry, there's two more samples here. Um, this one's like a little bar that says thank you on it. And this one is cactus flower and jade agave aloe chrysanthemum green floral green leaves and patchouli Ooh, that's really really nice oh this is like a very beautiful like lush like spring florally kind of like cactusy scent that smells really strong too okay and then the the last one i think this is angel wings type and this really cute little dino dude Angel Wings type is sweet, musk notes, uh, embrace light floral nuances of jasmine, white flowers, and lilac. Oh, this smells like the, um, there's like a Glade candle. It's called Angel Whispers or something like that. It smells a lot like that. Like it's a very like musky, like a light vanillic floral musky kind of scent. So I like that a lot. Okay. So now let me get to it. So the fossil mini loaves are really cute. Like I said, they're approximately four ounces and they're $5 each. Look how cute this is. I'm going to take it out too, but this is what it looks like. And I got, look how cute. So like, it's kind of hollowed out. It's a fossil little mini loaf. Um, and I picked on these ones, I picked all, these are all house blends. The only one that's a single oil is the big tea loaf Rex. All the other ones are like her house blends that I chose. And this one is Walking in Jurassic Park. 
You can see her labels here. So walking in Jurassic Park is Santal and warm vanilla sugar, cashmere and twilight woods type. And I really get that Santal. It's very dry woods and a little bit of patchouli. I do get a tiny bit of like twilight woods. Oh, this is so nice. This is like Santal, twilight woods, cashmere. Like it's a very like earthy, woodsy, but vanillic Tonka kind of scent. I really like that. That's really, really good. I mean, it once again, like I was smelling one of the L3 blends yesterday. I'll kind of explain like, it smells like you're somewhere older, like you're in a old, I don't know, library or you're in an old temple or you're in an old something like ancient. It kind of has that kind of scent to it. And I like it. Um, and these were just poured 1130. So a week ago. So, okay. I got how many of these? Oh, two of the fossil mini loaves. The next one I got is in vintage Santal. I love Santal scents as you can tell. So vintage Santal is a house blend and it's a uh, boom, boom type Santal and pink sugar type also. And this one was also poured on 1130. And this one is a different like animal or dinosaur head. I definitely get this on tall first. And then like a creamy boom, boom. I don't get much pink sugar. It's mostly boom, boom, but and Santal. So it, that Santal, like I said, really gives that like aged, like old tiny kind of vibe. And so I really, really like it. Um, I'm going to let these cure for a little bit. I usually cut my wax up pretty quickly, I, you know, but these were like just freshly poured. Okay. And then I got four of her bunt cakes that are approximately three ounces and $3 and 75 cents. And I also just got them all in house blends, I believe. So this first one, so this is like what it looks like. This first one is the perfect man blanket. And this is the perfect man and soft blanket type, which I don't know what her perfect man is, like what that oil is. I know that you can get it by itself though, because I saw it. Well, it smells very good. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. It is like a nice cologne scent, but then it's like, like a very, like a woodsy cologne scent mixed with like a cashmere blanket. Mm, this will be great for my room. I know I've melted her wax in the past and it's pretty soft. This just came from outside and it's going to snow today. So it's working its way up right now with the wind and everything. So everything's pretty cold. Um, the next one here is warm quicksand. This one sounded really interesting to me. Sandalwood vanilla, rice petals and shea type and warm vanilla sugar type. And this was the same day. It was poured the same day, 1130. Ooh, I like that a lot. Look how pretty this one is too. Mm, wow, this is really good. I really get that rice petals and shea. I get all of it, honestly. The sandalwood vanilla, rice petals and shea, and warm vanilla sugar. This is really nice. Definitely, I would repurchase this. Mm, that is like so like I just imagine, you know, I grew up in the desert. I've talked about that before. Um this smells like you're out in the desert heat wearing a, like you're, you're wearing some like wispy chiffon outfit and you have some beautiful like vanilla musky perfume on. Ooh, I like that a lot. Once again, that one's called warm quicksand and I can see why it's called that. Um, the next one here is called the Zen Den and this is lavender, spearmint and rosemary mint. I had to get some type of mint scent. Woo, that rosemary is strong. I definitely get rosemary. But now I definitely get lavender and spearmint too. This is very herbal, just so you guys know. Like, I get straight up rosemary. I'm going to probably have to melt this one in the bathroom because I melted a really strong, like the rosemary mint type the other day. Um, and the rosemary was really strong and in my kitchen. And it just smelled like baking herb or like cooking herbs after a while. Um, this next one, uh, this is my last bunt and this is in enchanted dreams and this is bath and body works, be enchanted type. I love that scent, soft blankets and lavender. Ooh, this is pretty. 
if you guys, do you guys remember Be Enchanted from Bath and Body Works? I don't know why they discontinued it because it was a really popular scent. A lot of people bought it. It was like purchased all the time. It was to me, and you can really smell it here. It's like a very almost fizzy, but not quite. It's just such a bright, juicy berry, like berries and sugar scent with vanilla and musk and stuff that it almost smells fizzy. It smells like a princess but not that sweet. It's a little deeper than that. I can definitely smell it here. I get the smallest amount of lavender and then I get like a woodsy cashmere kind of thing from like the blanket, I believe. Oh, I will definitely, definitely get that one again. Okay. Now for the big test here, I want to see if this last thing here is what I was expecting. And I got him in the dino loaf. And like I said, the dino loaf is approximately nine ounces. And it's a dollar twenty or a dollar twenty five, eleven twenty five. Look at my dude here, so cute. I'll take him out too. And this is in the November rain type, airy, watery, warm amber, which is basically how um, like Hayden Rowe explained it too. So I'm hoping it's the same oil. Mm, it smells like it. Look at this guy. He's so cute. Yeah. Mm, I freaking love November rain oil. Yep, that's it. That's November rain. I'm going to have to see now because I know it's the same oil or at least, I mean, it's not, who knows if the oil's from the same like vendor because our wax vendors have oil vendors that they purchase from. So who knows if it's from the same place, but it smells the same. So I'll have to see if her wax, um, you know, performs the same as Hayden Rowe or differently. Oh gosh, it's so pretty. Um, I had a friend actually messaging me today about how to explain how November rain smells to me. You know, I feel like aquatic scents go a few different ways. They either go masculine, they go floral, or they go like a little bit earthy. This one to me, I, it's not feminine or masculine. I would say if it has to lean a certain way, maybe floral. Yeah, but it literally smells like wet ozonic air with like heavy, heavy raindrops just plopping down. You get a tiny bit of amber in the base. It's my like, it's my favorite aquatic scent. Um, I will say I, but I also love stainless steel. To me, that's a very aquatic scent. And then I love, you know, aquadigio and cool water. Those are aquatic scents, but that lean more masculine, obviously. This one's like fresh air. It's more ozonic and it's amazing. And I love my dino. I'm going to take a picture with him and put him on um, Instagram. I'm so happy to have him. And I'm so happy that this is the same oil. Um, I'm happy to have spent some money with um, wax sedents. Cause I think, like I said, she is really out there with a great cause um, and standing for lots of really good things. So Anyways, I know this wasn't that long of a haul, but I wanted to share with you guys. She has a ton of really cool house blends. Um, I mean, they were so hard for me to pick. What was this? Um, six house blends. It was really hard for me to pick those because she had so many. And a lot of them, like how the one is called um, like Walking in Jurassic Park. She has different house blends based on all the different periods of like when the dinosaurs were on the earth. So they're, it's actually really cool. Anyways, go take a look at her website. It's so cool. Um, I ordered this stuff. So today is December 8th. Um, she does everything like pour to order kind of a thing. I ordered this November 26th. So for something that's basically customs, that's not bad at all. So anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye.